Well, we went inside the building and the office was completely shut down and the doctor's name was scraped off the door. I am certified by the American Board of Surgery. Dr. Manish Raj Gupta, seen here in a commercial on his website, Artesian Cosmetic Surgery. But the self-proclaimed good doctor is now locked in a jail cell. Here is his mugshot after being arrested on charges that would leave anyone angry and absolutely appalled. But to see all those charges and allegations and everything, it's just a little, a little unsettling. Illegally dispensing controlled substances, aggravated sexual assault, and sex trafficking. This woman, a past patient of the Toledo plastic surgeon, was shocked. I did all my research and he had all the best, you know, double board certified. He had all the, the best, I mean, anything you could want in your doctor. Well, according to the FBI in Ohio, Gupta hired escorts. He drugged them and sexually assaulted them while they were unconscious. That is vile. And so is this. The feds also say Gupta recorded the innocent victims on SD cards from multiple cameras. According to the long arm of the law, this all happened in 2016, but it could have started as early as 2013. According to these documents, staff members at the surgery center in Ohio found videos that appeared to be several assaults about six years ago. All these people knew about it and was nobody saying anything or was this like this long investigation? Gupta did not only see patients in Toledo, he once had an office right here in Metro Detroit in Taylor on Telegraph. He was in private practice but at one time was affiliated with Beaumont Hospital. I received this statement from the healthcare organization. Dr. Manish Gupta has not attended to any patients at any Beaumont Hospital for a decade. However, as a result of the charges he recently faces in Ohio, Beaumont has immediately revoked Dr. Gupta's dormant privileges to practice any medicine in our facilities. That being said, according to the hospital, police in Taylor and FBI officials here at home, there have been no police reports, no complaints about the doctor in Metro Detroit. I'm Andrea Isom, 7 Action News.